Howdy viewers and welcome back. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. I'm calling this one Trinkets and Talismans because it involves crafting several trinkets that are somewhat difficult. And one of them is the Bison Horn Talisman. Then there is the Boar's Tusk Talesman and the Alligator Tooth Talesman. Both are, or all three, are very difficult. One of them I showed in a video about the Southfield Flats cabin, a sort of murder that took place, and that was in order to get the gold jointed bracelet. I have an addendum to that at the end of this video, and I'm going to show you another location in this video where you can just walk in and grab a jewelry as long as you use the save exploit. You know, you don't get what you want, you reload, and then you go back. But let's get on with this video. I'm starting this video out with the alligator hunt because it's actually a, a decent hunt. In this area, it's dangerous because you also have night folk hanging around, as well as a bunch of alligators. Like any legendary animal, you just hunt for the clues, and eventually you shoot the legendary animal. Now, once I kill the alligator, I'm going to then go back to St. Denis and craft the um, clothing and then the trinket that you can do with the alligator tooth and alligator hide. Not far now. I used the shotgun with explosive slugs to hunt the alligator. You can use whatever you want. I've seen guys use explosive dynamite arrows, etc. But I just crafted some explosive shells. Now i got to lug this back to the horse and get it back to St. Denis and the trapper in order to craft some clothing and then craft the trinket. Now I'm back at the market, and I don't have to carry the hide with me. Talk to the trapper and sell him the legendary alligator skin. Now after I sell the skin, I'm going to then buy something. And what you have to buy is under the garment set, Death Roll. And you can pick up the legendary alligator gambler's hat the legendary alligator vest and the legendary alligator fowlers they're all really cool and yeah you're gonna need the perfect gila monster for that which means you gotta wait for john but i digress now that i've bought the alligator stuff from the trapper sort of look like crocodile dundee a bit i'm gonna yeah people just get in my way go to the pawnbroker, who is a fence, and see if I can craft the alligator tooth talesman, which I can tell you right now I can't. I have to uh, get a gold-jointed bracelet, because if you look at craft, and you go to the trinkets, nope, the tail, nah, the talesman, Got to go to the, why am I, yeah, okay. You got to go to the, yeah, why am I at the trinkets? Here we go, Talesman. And the 
Yep. Boar Tusk. And I can't do that. But the... up, oh, I'm missing the gold-jointed bracelet. The vintage Civil War cuffs you get from selling the cigarette cards to the cigarette card collector. And naturally, the alligator tooth you get from hunting the legendary alligator. So let's get on and get that gold-jointed bracelet. Now we're back at the cabin in Southfield Flats. And I'll show you on the map here, right next to Pat. <laughs> yeah, that was quick. But anyway, I'm going to switch to first-person view. Before you enter the cabin or do anything, hit the save. Because if you don't find the item you want, ugh, yeah, this is gross. And again, at the end of this video, I'm going to do an update on this. And I found out what happened and why. I should have explored a little further the first time I did this. I'm going to, yeah, bread rolls are important. Over here is the jewelry box. You take that and it, nope, gold pocket watch. This is where I'm going to reload and re-enter the cabin. Yes, yeah, save before you enter the cabin and you'll be sent somewhere else, but you'll be close to the cabin. You ride up, enter in. Yep, there's the murder mystery. There it is, Jesus. And instead of going for the rolls, we have this. And voila, gold jointed bracelet. Just what I needed. And again, you got a cigarette card here. You mail the cigarette card sets in, and you'll get those Civil War, um, whatchamacallit, uh, vintage Civil War handcuffs. And you can then build the alligator tooth trinket. Now I'm going to go to the um, fence by Rhodes. He's the closest one. And get this made. I rode back to the fence at Rhodes, and now I'm going to have him craft the alligator tooth tailsman. And yeah, I might as well just flip over to the tailsman, yep, alligator tooth tailsman, and craft it. Like I said, the vintage Civil War handcuffs you get from mailing in the card sets, and then the gold jointed bracelet you can get at the location I showed you the Southfield Flats cabin or at another cabin that I will show you later so that is the first tailsman the next one is going to be the bison horn tailsman and you actually need an abalone shell fragment in order to craft that and I'm going to show you where that shell fragment is, that location, and then craft the bison horn tailsman. Now you have to actually go to Rhodes is the location that I'm going to show you. It's in Rhodes. And for the bison horn tailsman, you need the legendary bison horn. Not the Takanata one, but the regular white one you can shoot in by the Lake Isabella and a silver earring which is easy enough to find you just shoot a bunch of uh, bandits and one might have one now here we're coming to the location in Rhodes. it's this rundown cabin you can only enter into one area and once you get off your horse this is just outside of Rhodes. it's on the map i you can see it you enter this one area where you can enter, and there you can see the Albion fragment or whatever, the abalone shell that you need. And then you just take whatever you want, canned vegetables, canned whatever. It's good food. And then you can ride over to the fence at roads where you bring the shell fragment a silver earring and the legendary bison horn and you can craft the trinket for some reason i stopped by a funeral 
who lost his way so awfully. He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. You cannot be in there. What is wrong with you? Well, obviously no one Arthur knows, so why am I hanging around here? I'm going to go up to the fence at Rhodes and craft the bison horn talesman. In a minute. You got anything good for me, by a chance? Looking for a special something for a special someone? I did this before the alligator tooth talesman, but I did the alligator tooth talesman first. The bison horn talesman, the abalone shell fragment, silver earring, and legendary bison horn. That is complete. Now we're going to go with the boar's tusk, and that actually requires a little bit more effort. And I'm going to show you the locations to get the golden earring, the cobalt petrified wood, and of course, well, if you shot the legendary boar, you've already got the tusk. Now, this cabin where you can get golden earrings is in Lake Hay, where depending on what part of the story you're in is where your group camps out temporarily in chapter five. Now you enter the cabin and you don't find the golden earrings. Well, you should save before you enter the cabin. And let's see, here we are. You see the jewelry box on the nightstand. Take the jewelry box. Yep, golden earring. Now, i be honest with you, I actually did save and reload because I got a golden ring. But now that I've got the golden earring, I already have the legendary boar's tusk. Now I'm going to show you where to get the cobalt petrified wood that you need. And I'm going to take some gin with it. So you got to go to Lake Isabella, the northwest shore of Lake Isabella. And what I'm going to do is fast travel to Coulter and ride my way down. And I'm just explaining what I did because I'm gonna camp then fast travel. I fast traveled to Coulter, rode my way down. Now I'm gonna show you there is this cave with a wagon and corpse. And yeah, I'm gonna show you on the map here. It's right here above the north west corner of Lake Isabella and getting onto this wagon is a pain in the ass but you see that trunk there that's where you can get your cobalt petrified wood And there you have it. You've gathered all the ingredients required to make the boar tusk talesman. Take these to the fence to craft the talesman. Well, I'm going to camp and fast travel the roads and get the legendary boar's tusk talesman crafted. I ran into a bit of a problem, but I'll show you in a later video. Let's talk to the fence and get the boar tusk talesman crafted here. And that is what we're going to do. Boom, I got that talesman crafted. I have the earring, the cobalt petrified wood, and the boar's tusk, and boom, all the talesmans are crafted. And I am now done with this. And like I said, you're going to now find out about the 
mystery of the Southfield Flats cabin. I did a video about it. I left a link at the start of this video, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description. So let's get on with the mystery of the Southfield Flats cabin. Okay, I'm going to loot the corpse, and there's a note, a letter from Anetta to a letter to Anetta from Claude. And let's read it. Letter to Anetta from Claude. Anetta, blah, 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 blah. Basically, Claude is saying that he had an affair with Anetta. His wife, Harriet, is going to forgive him, and they want to build a life together. So the woman who is the corpse by the wagon, well, she came in, killed Claude, and his wife, Harriet, out of jealousy, and then killed herself. Yeah, that's basically the mystery of the cabin and this letter. The first time if I had actually looted the corpse and read the letter, I would have found out. But, like I said, I have a link at the beginning of this video to that video, and I'll leave a link to the video in the description. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, and you don't want to miss out. And I do post some shorts and specials. As always, Thanks for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.